Hello, my name is Lena Shah, and I'm a developer at Oracle working on the content management headless samples. Today, I'm going to show you how to build a gallery sample in Flutter using Oracle Content and Experience as a headless CMS. Let's get started. The first thing we want to do is clone this repository in GitHub. This is the Flutter gallery sample that is already set up to use Oracle Content Management. Let's go ahead and clone this repository. Copy the URL. Then open up a command prompt and type in git clone and the URL of this repository. You can open this sample with the code editor of your choice. I will be using Android Studio. First, let's take a look at this file, pubspec.yaml file. Here on the top, you will notice that there is a toolbar with a command called pub.git. This command installs all the dependencies for the project. So click on it. While the dependencies are getting installed, let's take a look at the file. The dependencies section lists all the dependencies the sample has. There is also an assets property, which lists the folder where you will find all the images. Next, let's take a look at oce.file. So click on lib, config, and oce.dart. This is a configuration file. This file contains an object to store configuration information about the Oracle Content Management Server. The server that is listed in server underscore URL is a public Oracle Content Management Server. The channel token is what will be used by Flutter to authenticate into our Oracle Content Management instance. Now that the dependencies are installed, let's try running the sample in, a, in an emulator. I have already set up an emulator using the AVD Manager. So I will select that in the dropdown, select main dot dot and hit run. Now that the sample has been deployed to the emulator, let's see it in action. Here the home page is demonstrating how taxonomies can be used to categorize content. Categories are child node of, of a taxonomy and can be organized into hierarchies. For our image gallery sample, we want to show all available categories. For this, we find all the available taxonomies and then get the set of tax categories for each taxonomy. This home page is showing a preview of the items in a category. Clicking on this will show us all the published assets in that category. Clicking on an image in the grid brings up a larger rendition of the image and also allows you to navigate through the images in the category. Let's go ahead and take a look at the code which is making all of this possible. All of the source code for this sample resides in the lib folder. First, let's take a look at lib, networking, content.dotfile. The REST API for content delivery provides access to published assets in con Oracle Content Management. Published assets include content items and digital assets, as well as their renditions. We can now leverage the Oracle Content Management REST API to fetch content so that we can render it in our blog application. This file, uh, content.dart, has methods for connecting to the server that was specified in the oce.dart file. Here we see that in the constructor, we use the config object that was declared in oce.dart file. This file has methods for connecting to the server that was specified in the config object using the REST API and returning the response from it. 
this file also has helper methods for getting uh, the rendition holes for assets. Next, let's take a look at the services dot dot file. This file contains all the code that is necessary to get the data for the application. Here you will find methods that encapsulate calls to the REST API and return the results back to the Flutter widget to be rendered. For example, the fetch taxonomies makes a REST API call to uh, fetch the taxonomies and then the data that is returned is sent back to the Flutter widget to be rendered. Similarly, the fetch items per category gets the items for the specified category. In short, this file contains all the rest call the sample needs to get the data. Next, let's take a look at main.dart file, which is the starting point for a Flutter app. Dart programs have an entry called main, which is defined in this file. In this case, main is calling a Flutter specific function called runapp, which takes a widget as an argument. Here, the argument that is being passed in is the my app which is a stateless widget defined in the same file. My app overrides the build method, which returns a widget object. Within the widget object that is returned, we define all the configurations on how the app should look like. Here we see that the home property refers to a my home page widget, which is a stateful widget defined in the same file. My home page also overrides the build method and returns a custom widget called home page, which is defined in screens home underscore page dot dot file. Home page is a stateful widget that defines a method called fetch data that makes a REST API call to fetch the data for the home page. Once the data is fetched, it is stored in the categories field using the set state method. Calling set state in a widget causes the build method to be called, which will render the layout. Here we see that the build method uses another custom widget called card grid, which is defined in components card underscore grid dot dot file. Here you will note that there is a gesture detector for the on tap that will cause a navigation to a widget called image grid, which is defined in image underscore grid dot dot file. This sample uses the navigator to navigate to a new route. In our sample, we want to provide three routes the home page, which shows a list of the image categories. The image grid page, which displays all the images for a given category, and an image pager, which displays a larger, larger rendition of the image. The widget in home underscore page dot dot file is responsible for rendering the home page. The widget in image underscore grid dot dot file serves the image for a specific category. And the image underscore pager dot dot serves the pager which allows the horizontal navigation of the images. As you can see, here is the home page that is being rendered by the home underscore page dot dot widget that we saw earlier. A click on a category makes a request for items in a specific category, which is handled by the widget defined in image underscore grid dot dot. Similarly, a click on an image in the grid will be handled by the widget defined in image underscore pager dot dot. That's it from my end. Thank you for watching this video about how you can use Flutter in conjunction with Oracle Content Management as a headless CMS to build and implement a gallery app. You will find more samples like this on our headless Oracle Content Management documentation pages.
Have fun building.